Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and obviously my dog loves the Big Bang Theory because that's what we're watching today and he decided he's going to be on the bed today. It's almost like he just knows that when we watch this, it's like his vibe. <laughs> but we're going to be doing part two of season five today. So I'm really excited for this. Like I said at last video, we're seeing some just really comical moments already. And I just hope that the ball just keeps on rolling with this. I know you guys say that like the show kind of peaks at season four and season five and then kind of starts going downhill, but I'm holding out hope. I'm hoping that with the way I'm binging it, that it's just going to keep on being funny and that we're not going to lose the edge with it because the minute that I stop laughing from the show is when I'm going to stop enjoying it. At least unless they put like some emotional moments somewhere in the show here, um, more than what we've already seen. So... I am hoping that this is going to just keep on going. I have no negative thoughts with this. It's just been an amazing ride so far. So glad you guys could all join me. If you'd like to watch my full length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch a TV show together. Let's continue our journey on to the Big Bang Theory. You managed to open it only to find yourself face to face with a hideous, foul smelling, moss covered ogre. What oh my god. Do? I say, hey, Ma, what's for dinner? <laughs> I don't think the he was serious. Is amused by your joke and allows you to pass. Oh, okay. Goodbye. I liked it too. <laughs> hey, how about the wedding plans, Howard? You're gonna have that darling little earthenware asparagus dish I've always wanted. See, this is the good thing about having a girlfriend 9,000 miles away. I can spend my nights doing whatever I want. You mean like playing nerd games with us and then taking a suspiciously long shower? <laughs> he knows what you're up to. <laughs> you see a dragon. Really? So we're playing Dungeons and Dragons and we walk into a dungeon and see a dragon? Yes. Isn't that a little on the nose? When you play shoots and ladders, do you complain about all the shoots and all the ladders? <laughs> Everybody's got someone. Sheldon's with Amy. Howard's getting married. You're dating my sister. You know, now that Howard's getting married, maybe he'll inflate one of his old girlfriends for you. <laughs> oh, my God. You know who I blame for my loneliness? TV shows promise streets paved with beautiful blonde women with big bazongas. Eat another pie. You'll have your own bazongas. <laughs> That's cruel. You know what goes straight to my hips. <laughs> Please focus. You're facing a fire-breathing dragon. I don't know if I want to play anymore. No, oh, Raj. You girlfriend? Well, good lord. That becomes a reason not to play Dungeons and Dragons. This game's in serious trouble. So, Bernadette, how's the wedding planning going? And I'm not asking as a prospective bridesmaid. Kiss me! Kiss me! Oh my god. You went cake tasting yesterday. Raj came along. Raj needs to so figure his life out with this. Someone. No, I met a really cute girl at work. She's married to a guy in one of our drug trials. <laughs> well, hello, she's married. But her husband is in serious congestive heart failure. Oh my and god. Little Birdie told me he's in the placebo group. <laughs> <laughs> Bernadette okay, is so funny. You ready to order? One moment. I'm conducting an experiment. With Dungeons and Dragons dice? Yes. Yes. It the only way to do it. I've decided to make all trivial decisions with a throw of the dice. Page 14, item 7. So, what's for dinner? A side of corn succotash. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Come with me, please. Let's see what I'll be washing that succotash down with. A pitcher of margaritas. <laughs> that sounds like an oddly you specifically really good dinner. That's the great thing. What's it thinking about now? Hamburgers and lemonade. Wow. Um, Raj? Someone I want you to meet. This is my friend Emily. I know her from spin class. Relax, she can't hear you. She's deaf. Oh. Emily, this is our friend Raj. Oh. <laughs> Look at you guys, just 
hitting it off. I'm so good. <laughs> well, I guess that works. Hi. She says it's nice to meet you. Does she really mean that or was she sending it sarcastically? <laughs> but, uh, Penny has her number if you want to text her and get together. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm going to play it cool. Tell her, uh, maybe, whatever, babe. <laughs> Why? Why is he being like this? Look at that. I have a date. Can you stop? Can you stop being so pouty now? If you got over this whole girl thing, dessert. you'd literally Come have a girlfriend. You'd be Come fine. On. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why is it tempting me to actually try this? I was thinking, hey, did you hear the one about... Oh no, I bet you didn't. <laughs> Maybe we should revisit your lonely fat guy plan. <laughs> oh, she's here. Oh, she says she's sorry she's late. Oh, oh, but tell her it doesn't matter. Tell her her eyes shimmer like opalescent lilies in the lake of the palace of the celestial maidens. Oh my god. How did we go from insulting to overbearing? He likes your eyes. Oh, you're making me sound like a caveman. <laughs> she says thank you. You have nice eyes too. Really? Wait, uh, ask her how many children she wants, and whatever number she says, say me too. Oh my god! I have a deep, sexy voice like James Earl Jones. She, she doesn't know what James Earl Jones sounds like. Right? <laughs> and she won't know I'm lying. <laughs> oh, I love music. Do you love music? You really want Raj. To you're right. Everyone loves music. Uh, it, she says, do you play an instrument? Uh, no. I tried to start a boy band called Frankie Goes to Bollywood. <laughs> but I couldn't get any other boys to join, so my parents asked the servants to be my backup dancers. Don't sign it like I'm bragging. Sign it in a way that I sound humble, with just a hint of, that's right, I had servants. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point there, but Can like. Yes, but he <laughs> so get signing hand monkey. What did we create? What evil did I we create wrote a here? A letter to Santa Claus every day, and then on Christmas morning, under the tree is a little puppy with a red ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> the puppy died. It choked on a doll head. Sad face. Sad face. <laughs> That's sad. So we need to get Raj some sign language left. lessons, and I wish I learned how to do sign is language. Cassie. This is her car. <laughs> uh, she hopes she can see you again sometime. Good, good. Uh, uh, oh boy, uh, help me out here. D does she want me to kiss her or not? <laughs> oh. I was so smooth on that date. You were an idiot. Whatever, don't <laughs> kiss me. Yeah, well, it might have been on your lips, but it was my kiss. Oh, fine, let's agree she kissed both of us. Okay. <laughs> uh, mustache is looking good there, Sheldon. Oh my God. <laughs> Why are we doing that? Don't thank me, thank the dice. They told me what percentage of my face to shave. <laughs> In the past few weeks, unburdened by trivial decisions, I've co-authored two papers in notable peer-reviewed journals, and I'm close to figuring out why the Large Hadron Collider has yet to isolate the Higgs boson particle. Is Raj out with Emily again? What yeah. kind of pizza Every is that? The last month. Wow, can't believe he has a girlfriend. Me neither. <laughs> Here's some other fun news on the Raj-Emily front. He gave her a pair of diamond earrings and leased her a car. You're kidding. What? Of course not. She wouldn't do something like that. She's deaf. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that doesn't mean that she wouldn't do that. Deaf women can't be gold diggers? Handicapped people are nice, Leonard. Everyone knows that. I don't know about that yeah, one. I actually <laughs> have information about Raj that would be helpful with this discussion. Are you going to continue that or? <laughs> Could you tell us? Oh, snake eyes. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Hang on, doubles, roll again. Wow. Okay, get this. Penny just really beat him at his own game. <laughs> it doesn't matter if he's showering her with gifts. What do you mean vastly wealthy? 
Well, wealthy means a lot of money. Vastly means even more. I'm not sure what's tripping you up. <laughs> Look, I know they have money. I don't think it's that much. No, you're wrong. As you know, uh, a few years ago, well, from time to time, I notarize banking documents for Raj. The Kutrapalis aren't just rich. They're richy rich rich. Wow. Well, so how much is that? It's about halfway between Bruce Wayne and Scrooge McDuck. Oh my God. Listen, guys, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but I need to go call Raj's sister, who I love so much. <laughs> so vastly much. <laughs> a few gifts and a car. And she got him to pay off all her credit cards. Oh, no. Wait, she paid off her credit cards? No, no, honey. Don't do that. I could have dated Raj for a couple months. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't have, because I'm not that kind of girl. We should really talk to Raj. If you'll excuse me, I have to. Stay right here. <laughs> this is a bad idea. We should go. No, I'm the one that introduced him to her. I've got to say something. Oh, here she comes. Smart. Whisper so the deaf chick can't hear you. <laughs> hi. Oh, hey, hi. Nice to see you. See, Raj is kind of naive. I mean, he hasn't dated a whole lot of women, and I'm concerned that without meeting Howard, you, you might be taking focus. Away, you know, by letting him buy you a bunch of expensive things, and I, I, Howard, focus. Literally. Who the something do you think you are? You mind your own something business and go something yourself. Oh my God. Oh, wait, I got this now. <laughs> Chatty. I'm hammered. Oh. Here. This girl is trouble. I see what's going on here. She's not into you. you Don't and I do it. Had a crazy night together, and now you can't stand to see me with another woman. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I can't get mad at your feelings. I don't have feelings. Yeah, that's good. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Raj, so stop buying her gifts, man. <laughs> It's a real ruby. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Is it the parents? Oh, mommy, daddy, what a nice surprise. No, it's not a nice surprise. It's a bad surprise. <laughs> Penny called her. Penny? She told us you're spending all our money on yeah. your girlfriend. She gives me things too. Yeah, yeah, I'm a gynecologist. I know exactly what she gives you. <laughs> <laughs> you need to find a nice Indian girl from a good family. If you keep seeing this woman, you're cut off. What? You're gonna make me choose between the woman I love and the money I have very strong feelings for? Well, I choose love. <laughs> you're an idiot. Oh my God. That doesn't last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at your wife and say that one, buddy. <laughs> He's going to find out eventually. My uh, parents are making me choose between money and you. I choose you. No, I think we'll have to return the car. None of those things matter because we have something. Here better. it comes. Here it we comes. Love. <laughs> yep. There it is. Well, I can't watch the closed captioning without crying. <laughs> I wish I could make you feel better. Seriously? I'm heartbroken and you're hitting on me? No, not like that. Oh my oh, god. Daddy. And they said if I date an Indian girl, I get a Maserati. Wow. Oh, cheesecake. You're just as good as a woman, even though I can't have sex with you. Well, no, let me not finish that thought. Oh my god. Not the American Pie jokes. Thanks for dinner, buddy. Yeah, real big of you. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> oh, no cheap out on the tip. We all know you're loaded now. Literally. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Is that... Oh, it's not what I thought it was. From Never Game mind. Thrones. Yep. What do you think? 
It's literally um, Jon Snow's sword. I'm going to start a fantasy sword collection, and I've long thought we should. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's Longclaw, right? Longclaw? Have to go with X. I know it's the one that he got from the well, Night's Watch. I know that. England. It would be a replica of a movie prop. Fair enough. Just Bilbo Baggins sword. Oh, right I there. I have that Should exact Bilbo Baggins sword there, that's in the background say? there. Hey, with my height, that looks okay, like a normal sword. For it. <laughs> what do you want for it? Well, it's hard to put a price on something that's a copy of something that was on pay cable. <laughs> for my friends, let's say 250. Oh, that's pretty That's cool. not bad well, actually. Keeping them already giving you the friends and family discount. Oh, did you hear that? We're getting the friends and family discount. <laughs> we are honored and we will take it. Slow down. I ain't even going to lie. For Jon Snow's sword, do I do would definitely pay that. <laughs> 200. Man, you're killing me. We're killing you. I can't breathe. <laughs> 210, and I'm losing money. Oh, no, we can't let him lose money, Leonard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 210, and you throw in the Iron Man helmet. Are you crazy? That helmet's signed by Robert Downey Jr. So? I just saved us 40 bucks. I've long said what you lack in academic knowledge, you make up for in street smarts. <laughs> you he gave him a tip. It? No, it's okay. I'm going to stab my friend in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it's Will Wheaton. Hello, Will Wheaton. Oh God, <laughs> he's gonna buy the sword, isn't he? Nice sword. It's part of my sword collection. Awesome. What do I owe you? Forty bucks. Good deal. Sucker. Didn't even ask for the friends and family discount. <laughs> he probably got it already. Party at my house on Friday, and I was hoping you would stop by. Will there be girls there? Yeah, of course. You guys are invited if you want to come by. Thank you. All right, great. Later. I feel like that's a setup. After everything we know. I see what you're doing. You accept an invitation to a party at the home of my sworn enemy. He tells everyone we're going to be there, and when we don't show, he looks the fool. Fiendishly clever. I'm just gonna grab Raj and Howard and have a good time. All right, great, more guys. It's gonna be another Will Wheaton sausage fest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sheldon, can you grab me a water? Possibly. <laughs> can you or can't you? It's not that simple, Leonard. It never is, is it? <laughs> Until you either do not go or go to Will Wheaton's party, you are simultaneously my friend and not my friend. <laughs> I'm characterizing this phenomenon as Schrodinger's friendship. Oh my God. Why? Why do we do this? Oh, Sorry, I'm late. Uh, <clears throat> I got great news. NASA picked my team's design for the deep field space telescope that's going on the International Space Station this spring. Oh, oh wow. Someone has to go up with the telescope as He's going to do it. Payload specialist and <laughs> guess who that someone is? It's going to be him. Muhammad Lee. <laughs> Who's Muhammad Lee? As I didn't know the answer, I thought that gave me a mathematical edge. It's me, Sheldon. It's me. I'm going up in space. Technically, I'm an astronaut. Oh my oh God. God. That's amazing. Yeah. Dream to go up in a space is one we all share. And Howard's making that a reality. We're all very proud of you. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, she's a, a she's a little shooter. she's concerned. Yep, this is gonna be awkward. This is gonna be an awkward awkward conversation. You're really quiet. <clears throat> is everything okay? Fine. <laughs> That's not fine. Something's obviously bugging you. What is it? I just can't believe you signed up for the space program without even talking to me. Oh, I get it. We, you're worried about me. Well, that is so sweet. You know, this isn't the reaction I expected when I told you I was going to be an astronaut. Well, she's obviously worried hard. about you because you're going to space. <laughs> But do you realize what a big deal this is? We're supposed to be partners. We're supposed to be a team. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay, let's try this again. Bernadette, an opportunity has come up that impacts both of us. Okay. It's okay. a good start. I've been offered a chance to go up to the International Space Station for three weeks. What are your thoughts on that? Well, first, I 
first of all. I feel like something's coming up. What's happening here? Is she gonna freak out? No. <laughs> no. No. Hi. My father was a police officer. Uh oh. He never knew from one night to the next if he was gonna come home alive. It was horrible, and I don't want to live that way with you. My father abandoned me and my mother when I was eleven. Never saw him again. Oh. Oh, boo -hoo, you're not going to space. Oh my God. That was a very heartfelt moment, Bernadette. You just ruined it. God's sake, will you stop with the Schrodinger stuff? Would you prefer a simpler application of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle? In which I could either know where you are or whether I like you, but not both? I don't understand. What difference does it make if Leonard goes to Will Wheaton's party? Because no, they're sworn Wheaton enemies. Sheldon's mortal enemy. Mortal enemy? Mm -hmm. Sheldon, I know you're a bit of a left-handed monkey wrench, but... <laughs> Wait, what? You really have a mortal enemy? Would you like to see the list? Oh, thank I only you. know of yes. one for sure. You just got off the list. Would you like back on it? <laughs> oh. Just take a moment. It's on a five and a quarter inch floppy. There is so much going on here. A floppy disk? Well, I started the list when I was nine. Oh, okay, that makes sense. How did Will Wheaton get on the list? Oh, oh God. I drove for hours by bus to a Star Trek convention at which Will Wheaton was scheduled to appear so that I could get my Wesley Crusher action figure signed. But he never showed because apparently it was cooler for him to be the lower left corner on Hollywood Squares. Howard? Change your mind about sex? <laughs> I'm still mad, but I'll do it. <laughs> No, I've just been thinking. I don't want to be the person who stands between you and your dreams. Really? really? That's very mature of her. Going into space means that much to you. I will never say another word about it. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> now I need those. I need the cross lightsabers. She did not just sabotage him right. like that. actually asked Bernadette to leave your house in the middle of the night? What choice did I have? She went behind my back and turned my own mother against me. Wow. She really not did, though. the first astronaut, you're also the first one of us to kick a girl out of bed. Going to Wheaton's party is not betraying you. Oh, of course you would have to believe that. Evil always thinks it's doing right. <laughs> Excuse me, Stormtrooper. These are the droids you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a party. I'm not turning R2-D2 and C-3PO over to the Empire. I'm a grown man who can make his own decisions. Then she's going to have to convince your mother to let you go into space. Well, obviously. <laughs> I had no choice. I had to tell his mother. He can't go to space. I don't want to break up over this. Okay, why don't you just tell him you made a mistake? Do you guys think it was a mistake? Am I the bad guy in this? A little bit. It's not for us to judge. We're just here to provide comfort and support while you come to grips with what a despicable thing you've done. Oh my God, Amy. I took our love and threw it under his bus-sized mother. You kind of di Okay, well, that, that was interesting word was choice, but yeah, that's kind of what that's, happened. That's good. I'm glad you came to that. But before you do, let me just ask you a big picture question. Are you 100% positive you love and want to marry Howard Wallowitz? I do, with all my heart. Got it, just had to check. <laughs> Penny, what do you what do you want about right now? He's great. All right, Sheldon, we're going to Wills. This is your last chance. No, Leonard, this is your last chance. Oh, here we go. A uh, historian is going to come to you and say, is it true you were friends with Dr. Sheldon Cooper? Of regret and humiliation as you mumble, I was, but I chose to go to a party thrown by the one kid from Stand By Me that no one remembers. <laughs> now, why did you say that to Will's sure. face? <laughs> that would have been a good one for you. I just got a text from Stuart. Brent Spiner's at the party. Oh. Brent Spiner? Yes. I don't care. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Really? 
Just Rick go. Spiner, Mr. Data himself, you love him. I did, but I think I've kind of outgrown Star Trek. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the show for me. <laughs> the minute that Sheldon says he's done with Star Trek, I have heard it all in the world. I have nothing left to learn. Thank you for all these years of enjoying my YouTube content because now I have to stop. I'm just kidding. I don't really care. <laughs> I do, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm going. Live long and prosper, Sheldon. Yeah, even that. You look like a dork. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Tell her I'm not home! You can. I have nothing to say. Right? Just wanted to tell you I'm sorry I said something to your mother. I was gonna tell her eventually, but you went behind my back. No. Well, don't say it if you're not gonna mean it, because I'm not just gonna stop with the space station. Yeah, I want to go to the moon. I want to go to Mars. I want to take a one-man sub to the lowest depths of the ocean. Okay, well, you're not James Cameron. We don't do that. The <laughs> well, those big kids were rocking it. <laughs> Just did what I did because I love you so much, and the thought of losing you is more than I can handle. This is where you kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Make up all you want. Your tuckus is not leaving this planet. Oh my god. What are you doing here? Fighting for our friendship? As peculiar and annoying as you can be, you're still my little buddy. I'm not oh my god. I'm not here tonight. Now put down that drink, let's meet Brent Spiner and go home. An original mint in package Wesley Crusher action figure. I remembered your story about the time you went to a convention when you were a kid to get one signed and I didn't show up. Look at what I wrote. To Sheldon. Sorry this took so long. Oh, that's It's my last one. That's kind of sweet. That's kind of sweet. Look everyone, Will Wheaton is my friend. <laughs> oh, wow. I haven't seen one of these in years. Remember how we used to make these things look like they were masturbating? That was an original Minton package Wesley Crusher action figure signed by my close personal friend Will Wheaton. Sorry, Slim. I've got some Mr. Data dolls in the trunk of my car. You want me to sign one for you? You've already signed something, Brent Spiner. Your oh, name no. on my list. Come on, buddy. Let's not waste another second on this loser. Oh my Can god. <laughs> Can we get autographed dolls? Sure. Twenty bucks. Wow. Ten. Twelve. 16. Two for 30. And you come to my birthday party. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> so what kind of cruise is this you're going on? It's called the Born. Oh, his Bird. mom's back. Christian Quarterly gave it their highest rating, five thorny crowns. Uh, well, mom, if I did, it would be conclusive proof that your God can work miracles. <laughs> You're missing out. It's going to be wall-to-wall -wall fun. It's all themed. There's Jonah and the whale watching. Oh, my God. Oh, you can eat last supper buffet. And <clears throat> my personal favorite, gunning with God. Oh, it is a hoot. Now, Didn't have guns back then. You your sins on a clay pigeon. Oh, you God. You up in the air and you pulverize him with a 12-gauge shotgun. <laughs> full of our Lord's forgiveness. <laughs> And they're going to put it all in the ocean and it's going to kill the fish. Congratulations. The Lord giveth and the Lord bloweth away. <laughs> Mom, according to my itinerary for our weekend together, the fun begins with fried chicken. Sounds delicious. Good, because well, I got you everything you need to make. Sheldon, she just got off the plane. She doesn't want to cook. Well, of course she does. Uh, making me food is her way of saying I love you. Uh, making me food when she's too tired to cook is her way of saying I really love you. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't mind going out for a bite, Sheldon. Won't that spoil our appetites for the chicken you're going to make? <laughs> oh, That's my God. There's no harm in trying something new. There's a lot of harm in trying something new. <laughs> I remember my first time eating sushi. I was a kid and I was so amazed by it. And to this day, it's still my favorite food. I'm the best at dancing to that theme song. The best. Stop yelling. <laughs> I'm not happy about this. What's the last thing you were ever happy about? <laughs> 
prospect of fried chicken? Uh, kung fu letters might not be politically correct. Oh, yeah. Well, the one we couldn't say was Chin Chong. <laughs> no. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> you can't so, say. Shelley, what's up with you and your friend Amy? If you don't mind a mother prying a bit. Well, there's that. Now I need. Hold on. I need a second because let me just say, one. Kung Fu is not Japanese, which is where sushi is from, from Japan. And then on top of that, her saying the other thing, she's mixing all of the different, you no, know, like, no, we got, it's an outdated joke, okay? I understand that. It's an outdated joke, but no, okay? She made two wrong assumptions in one sentence and i don't even think i've seen this woman do that yet like how kung fu is from china i hope i'm right about that but i'm almost positive it is because kung fu panda was chinese was in china yeah i, I can't be wrong about that but <laughs> please tell me this woman knows that sushi comes from japan like please don't Oh my god. She is this close to getting a starfish hooked on cocaine. Why would you want to do, do you that? Do have any idea what's going on with those teeth? Mm, it's <laughs> kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. Maybe there's something there, maybe there isn't. We'll probably never know. <laughs> I hear you're in some sort of a long distance situation. Oh uh, yeah, it's Raj's sister. It's kind of tough. She's in India. Also, her parents aren't happy she's dating someone white. Oh, that's a funny turn, isn't it? There's, you, you never think about it going the other way. Wow. Cat can have kittens in the oven, but that don't make them biscuits. And that reminds me of another saying. You can lead a chicken to Crisco, but you can't make your mother fry it. So, Mrs. Cooper, what did you think of the sushi? It was good. Only thing would have made it better if it was cooked. That's the whole point of sushi. Even if it was beef. Your son seems to think we need to launch a preemptive strike on Burbank. <laughs> get them before they get us. What is happening? I couldn't find you guys, so I bought six new friends. Three sadly are dead. Oh my god. Um, you remember Rajesh. Rajesh, my mother. Of course, Mrs. Cooper. So nice to see you again. Yeah. I thought it was our Indians that had the occasional alcohol problem. Oh my god. We don't say that either. Yeah, what was her point with that one? I don't even I'll understand that list. one. It's better not tell me what's bothering you. <clears throat> I'm so lonely. Oh, yes. Born alone, die alone is a tragic human condition. No. <laughs> Raj, if you'll excuse my mother, she's about to make a pecan pie that'll be Oh, there's so the good. there's I'll Log Claw right, right there on their wall. Chicken. What do we do when someone's hurting? You get the tea. Offer them a hot beverage. Right. Go get hot when tea. Drunk as a skunk, what beverage do we offer? Coffee. Oh yeah, that's true and coffee. What do we do it with? <clears throat> a smile. Yep, there you go. Never find a man, then one day wouldn't you know Harlem Globetrotters come to town. <laughs> Long story short, today that woman travels the world with a semi-professional basketball player and two beautiful mixed-race babies. Okay, that was one of the nicer things. Because of your accent, but the general tone was soothing and somehow I feel better. <laughs> I'm not going to get my pecan pie, am I? No. I'm glad we're finally getting to do something together, just the two of us. Sure. One thing you really miss when you're on vacation is laundry. Be <laughs> careful. You're using too much downy. You know, if my clothes get too soft, it makes me sleepy. Sheldon, you didn't tell me your mom was coming? It was in my weekly email blast. <laughs> right between beet season is finally here, and uh-oh, uh red stool from beets leads to cancer scare. Oh, God. I hear that Leonard has a new girlfriend. How are you doing with all that? Oh! fine you know it's been a while i'm getting back out there let me ask you when you get back out there are you wearing this uh-oh well it's super cute on that top has paid for itself in free drinks like 10 times what it costs you think maybe the reason why you're having trouble finding a guy to settle down with is because you're letting him ride the roller coaster without buying a ticket oh oh they don't always get to ride the roller coaster 
Sometimes they only get to spin the teacups. I got with that. No, I understood that one. <laughs> Tonight, would it be crazy to ask you to look at the outfit I'm gonna wear? Oh, not crazy at all. And don't beat yourself up. When I was your age, you could have me for a car ride and a bottle of strawberry wine. <laughs> <laughs> she lost. He that lost his mom. Be in this week's email blast. <laughs> So, this spring, I get to go to the International Space Station. If you ever want to live there eternally, I've got a good book you could read. Thanks, but I watch the Charlie Brown Christmas special every year, so I get the gist. <laughs> I bet your mom is really proud of you. Nope. She says if I don't back out, she's going to go on a hunger strike. Well, I've got a treat for us tomorrow, Mom. I'm taking you to see Saul Perlmutter give a lecture about his Nobel Prize winning work in cosmology. And the best part is, at the Q&A afterward, I've worked up a couple of cues that'll stump his sorry A. How is that fun for her? I thought we could do a little sightseeing. What site is better than your little boy embarrassing a Nobel laureate? <laughs> what do you say? What do I say? I say you people need to stop ruining my mom's visit with you with your sushi and your sadness and your slutty shirts. Stop it. Oh my God, Sheldon. These are delicious. Trick to pancakes is bacon grease. I cook everything in it. Everything? Aren't you worried about your health? Oh, doctors are always changing their mind. One week, bacon grease is bad for you. Next week, we're not getting enough of it. Mom, I want to apologize for my behavior last night. Apology accepted. Great. Now, you're going to love the Perlmutter lecture. Look, he will be stating that the universe is older than 6,000 years. I don't think I she wants to go your still. In your ears and hum Amazing Grace during those parts. I am still going out with your friends. But... I apologized, and that was hard for me. Because you were in the wrong. Like yeah, you did. Shelly, I hung out with you in enough dusty lecture halls while you were growing up, so why don't you have some pancakes, get dressed, and come with us? I'm not going, and you can't make me. You're right, I can't. Have a nice day. <laughs> she ain't gonna fight it. Until you change your mind. I can't believe my own mother is abandoning me. I am not abandoning you. Sheldon, abandoning you is leaving you in a basket on a church doorstep. I am going to Hollywood and thank a wax Ronald Reagan for his service to our country. Oh my god. All right, Mom. When you're at the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, if they have an exhibit about a mother who threw away a chance to spend a day with the world's most wonderful son, believe it because it's true. That lecture was a waste of time. I made more accurate diagrams of the expansion of the early universe on the nursery wall with the contents of my diaper. What? <laughs> you getting sick? No. I'm just allergic to people who get Nobel Prizes for no good reason. Possible that your foul mood or to use the clinical term, bitchiness, <laughs> is because your mother isn't making you a priority? No. Or to use the clinical term, nuh-uh. Sheldon, we're all animals. And granted, there are aspects of you that are extraordinary. When it comes to emotions and relationships, you're just like everybody else. Are you trying to suggest that my emotional problems are no different than those of a stupid person? <laughs> Actually, some research indicates that by not overthinking, the less intelligent handle emotions better. Oh, this one's sweet. You know, for your rosary rattlers. Oh, my God. Mrs. Cooper, we, we say Catholics, not rosary rattlers. My goodness, it's a wonder you people in California can talk at all. We're not all rude. Well, I don't live in California. I live in Denver, but it's basically the same thing. wine here, don't they? Hey. None of our gods have abs like that. Hey, while we're here, why don't we all do some praying? Let's put a little church in this church. Oh, I'm not sure we it's should. It's easy. I'll show you how. Lord, Mary Cooper here, coming to you from Gomorrah, California. I want to thank you for the blessing that is my little Shelly. The continued strength not to cold cock him with my Bible. <laughs> all right, Penny, your turn. Okay, um, <clears throat> hey God, what's up? <laughs> it would be a big help to my family if you could get my brother to stop cooking meth. <laughs> <laughs> but no cops, be cool. Who goes a little overboard on the love thy neighbor? Could probably use that chat you had with Mary Magdalene. Leonard, you're up. One wow. Uh, she just called Penny a whore. 
Like, no. No. As far as Bible insults go, that was probably the biggest one I've ever heard. And I grew up Lutheran. Like, no, you can't. Oh, my God. Mrs. Cooper is on a different level in the world. Like, it's funny, but it's not funny because she's not aware that what she's saying is, like, not okay. And that's why it's funny. Like, I'm not laughing because it's actually funny. I'm laughing because of her complete ignorance to the situation. If you could help out with me and my girlfriend, she's all the way in India. That, that would be great. Hear that girl trouble. Turns out we were both wrong on that front. Oh my god, what? How about you? Oh, uh, I mean, no, thanks. I'm good. I'm really just trying not to burst into flames. Uh, he says he's having trouble dropping those last five pounds. Huh. I might have gone with the talking to girls thing. <laughs> yeah, no, you only get one wish. <laughs> Sheldon, what are you doing? Oh, no. We're gonna have a Forrest Gump moment, aren't we? Apparently, we're just two peas in a pod. Uh, regular peas. <laughs> kind of pea that comes along once, maybe twice in a generation. <laughs> Falling on the head of the brilliant and the unremarkable alike. <laughs> <laughs> You're so brilliant, huh? Smarty pants. Mrs. Cooper, it smells so good. You take notes, darling. The real way to get a man is with melted cheese and cream of mushroom soup. He'll die at 50, but his love will be true. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a Rubik's Cube tissue box. Yeah, I've learned something today. You and I, in so many ways, other than intelligence and what counts, we're the same. <laughs> Heart. Are you sick? I hope so, because if this is well, life isn't worth living. Oh, oh my God. Hi, you are burning up. We've got to get you to bed. Okay. Don't worry. Mom is here to take care of her baby. Uh, he with honey and toast with the crust cut off. You can have whatever you want. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. <laughs> Last time I put vapor rub on you, you didn't have hair on your chest. I know. It filled in last year. <laughs> I didn't get to spend a lot of time with you on this visit. And whose fault was that, sweetheart? You are a grown man. Or maybe I'm part of a new species that lives for hundreds of years, which means I'm still basically a toddler. No. Oh, I so should have taken you to Houston. <laughs> to get tested that's right i will always sing you soft kitty soft kitty warm kitty little ball of fur mrs cooper were we supposed to take that pie out of the oven? get out <laughs> <laughs> happy kitty sleepy what kitty. are you trying to pull mom from the top <laughs> <laughs> this is what i'm talking about <laughs> Alright, so that was part two of season five for the Big Bang Theory, and I gotta say, what what is my dog doing? Aries. Hey. What are you doing? He's being weird, that's what he's doing. I don't know. He spent he spent the duration of this video sleeping on his bed instead of enjoying it with me. <laughs> anyway, stop. No. What do you even see down here? Nothing. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> so that was part two, season five for the Big Bang Theory, and I gotta say it was just as good. Sheldon's mom knocks me out every time she shows up, but she, I swear to God, she is like, un uh, honestly, for me at least, she's a character you can only take so much of, and then it becomes like, not annoying, but like it becomes enough. So, but that's just me. You guys probably enjoy her, at least some of you, or most of you, probably enjoy her a lot. But if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? 
Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.